the serious retirement home, 2036. Excuse me, Miss Quivers. We have a new resident here at the Series Retirement Home. A gentleman, um, may I bring him over to sit with you? You know I don't like to be disturbed, Nurse Clittington. Ah, oh, but Miss Quivers, he seems so lonely. Except for his assistant. May I just bring him over to sit with you? All right, but don't keep him here too long. My boobs hurt. Okay, Miss Quivers. Come on, Mr. Stern. I'll bring you over to sit with Miss Quivers. If that chair isn't clean, I'm not going to sit there. Oh, uh, excuse me. No, we keep everything very clean here. Just have a seat. I'm a germaphobe, you know. I know that. I know. I've been told. Here, have a seat. Miss Quivers, this is Mr. Stern. Mr. Stern, this is Miss Quivers. Quivers. I used to know somebody named Quivers. I think she was a friend of mine with big brown melons on her chest. We may have even worked together. Is that you, Howard? What the hell are you doing here? You're a billionaire. You can live anywhere you wanted to. Oh, yeah. Is that my lovely Robin? My lovely Negress Robin? Yes, Howard, it's me. Why are you here? Why am I here? It's my kids. They don't think I'm competent or funny anymore. You mean those three wonderful daughters put you in a home? But they adore you. You think so? Well, it was them and their brother, Frederick Jr., who insisted I come here. You know, I can't figure out why Beth insisted on calling our accidental son Frederick Jr. I don't think Beth ever even met Fred. Speaking of Beth, how is she? What's she doing? Oh, she's still modeling. She just did a photo shoot for Over the Hill magazine. By the way, Robin, how are you holding up? Why don't you open up that sweater so I can check you out? <laughs> oh, Howard, you're still the same. Except I certainly remember you being much taller. It's friggin' amazing. I used to be like eight inches tall and I lost the eight inches. You know where it went? Where? Right in my penis. God damn it! All my life I had this little goddamn penis. Now I have like eight more inches and I can't get it up. It doesn't work anymore. You wanna see it? Howard, no! Besides, people do not lose height and have it go into their penises. That's impossible. Well, it happened to me. I'm a freak. Why couldn't this happen to me when I was 12 years old? Mm, I could have had all these girls just by hanging this thing out. Even you wouldn't have had to have me, Robin. Hey, boss! Hey, boss! I've arranged for your massage. I have your salad and your baked potato just the way you like it. So, Howard, do you still jog? Hi, Gary. Still following Howard around, I see. You know, Robin, now that we're not doing the show anymore, I can tell you exactly how I feel about you. Yeah? No, Fafa Foley, you can't. Like I said, Robin, hello. And to answer your question, Robin, no, I don't jog anymore. And I still try to eat healthily. I'll never forget Artie Lang and how he used to stuff his face and gorge himself and abuse his body with all the worst kind of crap. I wonder what ever happened to Artie. He must have had a heart attack and died by now. No, Artie's living here. In fact, there he is. Artie, come on over and see who's here. Hi, Robin. What's up? Who's the geezer? Howard? Is that you? Hey, old buddy, how you doing? A long time no see. Gary! Oh, you guys aren't moving in, are you? Well, if you do, that's freaking fantastic! You're Artie? I thought you were dead by now. How can you be bouncing around like that with all that shit you put into your body? Oh, this is not right. Hey, pal. Just lucky, I guess. Hey, sir. I've got some whores coming back to my suite later on tonight. You wanna come up and bang a few? Artie, I can't get it up anymore. Yeah, that's a shame. Ah, I gotta get going. Gotta conserve my energy. Don't wanna wear out the ladies. Good to see you, Howard. Later, Robin. Hey, Gary! Fire! What? Did he say there was a fire? Ooh, ooh. Where? Come on, get me the great Howard Stern to safety! Howard! That's just already being already. You're going to have to learn how to deal with it. I don't have. You're just going to have to get used to things around here. After all, Robin did, and she's a bitch, so she could do it. All right, all right. I'll never get used to this. Excuse me, Mr. Stern. What is it? Do you have the results of the uh, test that you had done on your penis? Oh, what'd you find out? That I'm half black? Why, yes. Didn't you know? Yeah, I'm half black. I'm half black? How is that possible? What the fuck did you just say? It's true, Howard. Your mother confided in me years ago. She had an affair with a token black in the neighborhood in 1953. 
I knew it. I knew it, boss. I always knew there was something different about you. I just couldn't sink my rotten teeth into it. I'm starting to feel something down below that I haven't felt in years. This could work out! Ooh. That's a big fucking cock!